Mr. Burrell, thank you so much for accepting our invitation to speak at IE School of International Relations. We're very pleased to have you here today. You graduated with a degree in aeronautical engineering and a PhD in economic sciences in 1976. In 1984, you became Spanish State Secretary for Finance and from 1991 and 96, you served as the Spanish Minister for Public Works transport, environment, housing, and telecommunications. And in 2004, you were elected president of the European Parliament. So uh, I have several questions for you. And the first one would be, with the benefit of hindsight, uh, how would you judge the role of the European Parliament throughout the crisis? Well, the European Parliament has not had a very important role because the competences are um, mainly in the Council. Uh, the crisis was something unexpected and even the council was not very much clear what should be the answer. No? So the, the parliament has been doing a, a role of uh, paying attention, um, requiring information, pushing for some uh, solutions, but uh, the hardcore was not in the parliament. Mm -hmm. And would you say that it would be in the European uh, Commission's hands? Uh, in his opening statement before the European Parliament, in the new president of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, stated that he wants a European Union that is bigger and more ambitious on big things and smaller and more modest on small things. And in your view, what are the big things he's talking about and the small things that he's mentioning? Well, this is a very nice sentence for propaganda purposes, no? And we will be very effective and very big when we have to face big issues and we will not take care, we will not be boring people with the small things like the bananas and apples and all this caricature about the, the intermission of the European Union in everyday life, no? What Juncker wants to say with this sentence, a very well cooked sentence, is I will be facing the important things and will not care about non-important things. Which are the most important things? Well, first and foremost, to, to fight against unemployment, uh, push investment, get out of the crisis, convince Germany that they have to change their approach to the crisis. No? Well, this is the big thing that we expect Mr. Juncker to be able to do. And do you think that big on the agenda of the Commission stands uh, climate change and energy? And in light of the situation currently with Russia and Ukraine, how do you think the Commission is going to address energy in Europe? And do you think that they have the capa capacity to address these issues? Well, I... <laughs> I would be very happy if the European Commission continues having the lead that the European Union has had in the past with, on the time of Kyoto Protocol and this kind of thing which are already over. And it's not clear that the European Union is going to be able to maintain the leadership. Look what's happening with this agreement between uh, Obama and China, no? Mm -hmm. or, um, States and China both together represents 40% of the CO2 emissions. The European Union is almost insignificant from the point of view of the uh, quantitative approach. No? So uh, I think we will have to fight a lot in order to maintain uh, the leadership that we are, we are losing in these last times. Another different thing is, is how to face the, the threat of a Russian embargo on, on gas supply. No? Well, imagine that one day Mr. Putin decides to close the robinet no? and say, well, I'm sorry, there is no more gas. No? Or the Ukrainians won't, won't pay for it and there is no way to bring the gas to, to, to Europe. No? This has happened in the past, but a short period of time. This can happen in the future. No? So the, the quicker we get rid of the dependency with respect to oil and gas, much better for, for Europeans. So I think the Europeans should be pushing renewables and in the last two years have just been doing the contrary, you know, cutting down subsidies to renewables and stopping the development of alternative sources of energy.
Okay, well, thank you very much, Mr. Burrell, for your answers. And again, welcome to IE. We are very pleased to have you with us here today. Thank you.